Let's do some hot rollers. You need hot rollers, a brush or a comb, some clips, <laughs> and some hairspray. Go ahead and spray all over your hair just to give it a little lift. Hold, and it just makes it easier for the hot rollers to grip into your hair. You can also use a thermal protectant spray. Either one is fine. For this set, I'm separating my bangs because I don't want them really curly. For my first section, you want it the same size as your hot roller. And then I just want to smooth it, spray it, and then I roll from about two inches from the ends first. That's where I put the roller. And then I tuck the ends around and continue rolling to the scalp. And then you just finish with a clip. For the sides, I want to separate just behind the ear forward. And then I separate that into two horizontal sections. It really doesn't make much difference how much hair you put in. It's just trying to get a little bit of body in here. But again, you want the sections about the same size as the roller you're putting in. So just smooth it. You can spray it or not. Wrap it about two inches from the ends. Tuck things up and roll to the scalp. Now for the other side, do the same thing. Part it from the ear forward. And then, when you're on your opposite side, you may need to switch your body position. So, I'm starting with my arms in front, spraying, smoothing. But then, I need to move my arms behind my head. So, just figure out what works best for you to get a good grip on it. And just repeat the process. So you're just going to finish that other side, again, holding it out, smoothing it, spraying it or not, wrapping it up and clipping it. Now for the next section, I'm going to the direct top of my head, same size as the roller, and I'm going to pull it straight up or even a little forward toward the front of my head. I want maximum volume here. Again, just place your roller two inches from the ends, tuck the ends under, roll to the scalp, and clip. The next section is going to be the corners of the head, right above your occipital bone between that top roller. I'm just breaking it into two side-by-side -side sections. Again, you might need to move your body to behind, well, your hands behind your head. Just roll that down and clip. And then the other side, I'm going to do the same exact thing, just taking it directly across. It's basically, a it meets the top of your ear. Spray, roll, once you get used to doing a hot roller set, it just goes so much faster. The last section on the bottom, I just break into three equal panels and just roll them up. If you're down to just the tiny rollers at this point, that's fine too because I want a lot of curl in the bottom of, of this hairstyle. But if you only have small ones and you want a bigger curl, just use a little bit bigger section of hair, and that way it softens the wave. And just keep doing it the way you've been doing it the whole time. Also make sure your hair is really dry. It doesn't work well if your hair is damp, but you won't get that hold or that longevity. So this works great for second day hairstyles. And if you put your roller in and it just keeps flipping out, it's all right to take it out and just start over, even a few times.
I'm just reclipping this top one. You can do that wherever you need to. And then I'm going to show you finish with a spray all over. And then this is how I'm doing the front. I'm just taking two large pink foam rollers and I just want to wrap those around the front part fringy area because I don't want a lot of curl. I just want to give it a little bump and some softness. You just wrap it the same way. Just If those ends are flipping out, just keep tucking them as you roll down toward the scalp. You don't want a lot of tension on these ones. So once you get that all rolled down in and clipped, just make sure everything is where you want it. And have a good day. <laughs> Bye.